Down in good old Macon, Georgia, there sits a building that citizens pass by every day. This building is known as the Macon Art Exchange. Uh, we are a group of artists. Uh, we, we're supplied with this low-cost studio space, so uh, it's a collective of about 18 to 20 different artists working in different mediums. The exchange has been open for around 20 years and has played host to many other artists in Macon. Uh, I was the first one in, um, uh, but Tony Long owns the building, so, so he was really instrumental in, in starting it. Uh, I was teaching a drawing class at Mercer, and he was in one of my classes, it was a, a night class, and we were sitting around after uh, class one night, and he said that he had an old building, that he could set some artist stuff in, and I uh, was wondering if I was interested in the space. So I came down here and looked at it and, and fell in love with it. We have uh, printers and painters, sculptors, uh, uh, musicians, filmmakers, a lot of different disciplines. Over the past couple of years, I've kind of concentrated on, on letterpress work, posters, books, and broadsheets, that kind of stuff. On the first Friday of every month, the exchange opens its doors to the public. This event is for the showing of artwork and a great time for the public to come meet and mingle with the artist. Uh, First Friday is a downtown celebration where all the galleries have new openings, uh, uh, new art shows that open on that night. Uh, some of the stores stay open a little bit later. Uh, we generally have uh, new shows to open. Uh, sometimes our musicians play. We have a group of reggae musicians and a group of uh, bluegrass musicians and they uh, will sometimes play at the openings. It's kind of a, a, a big party once a month. The art exchange is like a family. All the artists support each other, and through this, inspiration is born. They have all become friends and a tight-knit community. They all get along together, and they all create together. Both uh, Heather Lee Wakefield and Eric Wakefield, I have an extensive collection of their work. Uh, I believe that um, every single person that is here, I, I own at least a little bit of their work, some of them I own more uh, than others. Uh, but uh, Marianne Bates is Macon's premier photographer. We have Craig Coleman, who is the professor of digital imagery at, at Mercer, and I've always enjoyed his films and his projections. Uh, David Sutton is a, a scene painter. He, he works for various movies and television shows, uh, painting the background scenes and doing faux finishes. Uh, and there are several of us, probably half a dozen of us, that have been down here 15, 20 years. And, and so it's been a, just a tremendous boon to us personally. But over the years, it's just come down to a very loosely based organization where we have shows once a month and, and uh, cheap studio space for everybody else. I heard about the exchange. I was doing some restoration work on the Grand Opera House with an artist who was part of the exchange and she recommended that I submit a portfolio for portfolio review. And I came down here the month before I submitted and walked around and looked at all the spaces and I was just amazed. Um, I had a, a child at home so I found it very difficult to work at home because he would come and get in all the stuff. Um, now he's 12 and he still comes and gets in all my stuff here, but it's okay. <laughs> um, so I submitted a portfolio and I was accepted. Um, lately I've taken to setting up some shows in the future. Um, so that's exciting to have the opportunity to bring new artists in here to find out how cool this space is. We're doing an art exchange at the Arts Exchange and it's where artists are going to bring pieces that are in progress and exchange them with other artists and then do a collaborative piece with someone else and then we'll have a show of those pieces in June. The best thing about it is that I can 
I can get as messy as I want to get and release whatever it is I'm doing in here. I can play my music as loud as I want to, for the most part. You know, I'm, I'm nice to other people. But, and, um, you know, it's just, you have a bit of freedom in here to express yourself. And that's, that's what I find so, um, so refreshing about this place. The Exchange is the most awesome place to see art in Macon. That's, that's my pitch. It's, it's the most awesome place to, to discover art and the element of art in Macon. And you get to see it as its spark before it turns into something bigger. And that's where creation happens. Art Matters is an arts journalism partnership of Macon Art Alliance and Mercer University Center for Collaborative Journalism that seeks to engage the community through embedded arts journalism. This project is supported in part by an award from the National Endowment for the Arts, Artworks, additional funding provided by the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation.